Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna be showing you seven different ways to boost your chicken's immune system. Before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description below, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So during the winter months, we all suffer from the winter blahs to some degree. Chickens too can get low. After all, there's little fresh green food available, limited exercise and short daylight. So what can you do to help boost your chicken's immune system and get them feeling peppy for the spring season ahead? Well, I've put together seven natural ways to do this and to beat the winter blues and get your fat hens in a tip top shape for egg laying and chick rearing season. Now, we often talk about having a good immune system, but what is it and how does it work? Immune system is not well understood, even in humans. Basically, it's the mechanism that fights off illness, disease, and infection. That is a huge job since, you know, chickens are surrounded by microorganisms constantly. And, you know, fortunately, most of these organisms are harmless, but some are pathogenic. And for a chicken to effectively fight these organisms, the immune system must be in great shape. The things they require to fight are vitamins, minerals, good nutrition, low stressors, and sufficient rest. There's no quick fix or a single item that will fix everything. You know, there are other things that govern the immune system as well, like genetic factors, age, gut health, inflammatory conditions, and poor environment. Some of those things you can't change, but we can certainly help with some good supplementation and food. So let's start off with number one, garlic. Garlic is a powerful aid to the immune system. It's also antimicrobial, repels parasites, and it's said to deter intestinal worms while stimulating the immune system. You can add four cloves of crushed garlic to a gallon of drinking water. If your birds aren't used to garlic, make sure they are drinking enough water. Add another drinker of ordinary water if needed. Do not use garlic in a metal drinker. Garlic will corrode it. You should change out cloves every two to three days and replace them with fresh ones. You can also use fresh garlic powder if you have it on hand. As with most things, too much can be a bad thing. Garlic can cause Heinz anemia, which causes weakness in chickens. Now, the second thing you can use is herbs. Many herbs are recommended to aid chickens' health and digestion. In fact, some commercial chicken concerns have started adding oregano and cinnamon oil to their bird's diet. Here are some herbs. I've already listed two of them. Oregano, it's a clear favorite for the healthful boost. It boosts the immune system and helps guard against certain infections such as salmonella, infectious bronchitis, avian influenza, and E. coli. And then the other one, like I said, is cinnamon. It's a great all-rounder. It has antibacterial properties, reduces inflammation, and is an antioxidant. Third one is turmeric. Great antibiotic and anti-infective benefits. Ginger is another one. Anti-infective, antiviral herb that boosts the immune system. And lastly, parsley rich in vitamins A, B, C, E, and K plus numerous trace elements and is said to stimulate egg laying. The list can be extensive, but these are popular herbs. So sprinkling some of these and others like lavender in the coop and especially the nest might put them in a calm frame of mind. Third way you can boost their immune system is fruit. Many fruits are healthy for chickens like melons, watermelons, grapes, bananas, and berries. Being the most frequently offered citrus fruit is one of those items the jury hasn't decided on. Many folks say their flock loves citrus, not lemons though. Yeah, others will tell you it's bad for them, but no details on what happens if they eat it. Here's some of the fruits. Bananas, they contain B6 and B12, plus magnesium, potassium, fiber, and protein. If you're like me and you don't like eating bruised bananas, the girls will help you out. Blueberries. Berries are packed full of healthy nutrients. Vitamins and trace elements such as selenium and phosphorus abound. They aid in digestion and contain antioxidants. I love to watch the girls race after frozen blueberries. It gives them exercise too. Another one, strawberries, another superfood. Full of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and a powerful immune boost booster. And then lastly, raspberries and blackberries. The hens enjoy all. If you have a bramble patch, you will find a few intrepid hens in there eating all the berries they can find. Fourth way you can boost their immune system is greens. Fresh green veggies packed loads of vitamins and goodness. As an example, kale contains vitamins A, C, K, B6, plus calcium, potassium, copper, and manganese. Your hens will enjoy some fresh greens as a treat, and it doesn't have to be the regular expensive supermarket greens. Think like dandelions, chickweed, and plantain. Turn the ladies out to free range and they'll head straight for the grass and peck away contentedly. Dandelions contain actually vitamins A, B, C, E, and K, and trace elements such as calcium and manganese. It is said to aid digestion, it's an antioxidant, and an anti-inflammatory pain reliever, not too bad for a common weed. 
And then another one is plantain, another firm favorite with healthy benefits. It contains vitamins and minerals, and the seed are said to be a natural warmer and detoxifier. You can also make a healing saw from plantain. There are several recipes on the web. Other common weeds that are beneficial to your ladies are clover, chickweed, and wild strawberries. And of course, there's just a small sampling of the goodness available for free right under their beaks. A fifth way you can boost their immune system is tonic. The easiest and cheapest tonic is apple cider vinegar. It's great for digestion and increases calcium absorption, especially in the summer months. It's also mildly antiseptic. The recommended dose is one tablespoon per one gallon of water. Do not use metal containers. It will also cause them to corrode as apple cider vinegar is acidic. There are also numerous commercial tonics and supplements out there too that can be beneficial. The sixth way to boost their immune system is seeds and grains. Fermented feeds for your ladies is an excellent way to boost their nutrition in the gloomy winter months. Feed that has been fermented is higher in vitamins B, C, and K contains probiotics that help digestion, increase the availability of the nutrients locked inside the grain. This method of feeding decreases feeds consumption and waste all while boosting the immune system. Another quick and healthy idea for your birds is sprouted seeds. Seeds are very cleverly made. They keep many of the nutrients locked inside and when eaten, do not give them up. To unlock the seeds inner goodness, you can soak them in water until they start to sprout. They are then ready for the girls to eat. If you take one step further and let the seeds grow, you have fodder for your girls. Crack corn is a surefire crowd pleaser. Give this to the girls in the evening before bedtime. Otherwise, they will fill up on this instead of the, the more nutritious feed. And last way you can boost their immune system is eggs and dairy. Eggs, they are good for you and they're good for your chickens also. As a treat, on cold days, mix some scrambled eggs. You can also add dried herbs to the mix. Chickens do not process milk products well, but you can give small amounts of yogurt to them, adding to perhaps some oatmeal or feed mash on a freezing day. My favorite mash is warm oatmeal added with bird seed, oregano, and two to three large dollops of yogurt. Mix it all and stand well back before they start flinging oatmeal everywhere. Don't forget to give them the eggshells too. Bake the shells in the oven on low heat for about an hour and make sure the shells are crushed down to, into teeny tiny pieces so they aren't recognizable as eggshells. You don't want them eating their own fresh eggs. Giving them back the eggshells helped get more calcium into their bodies ready for the laying season. So to summarize, do we spoil our hens? Absolutely, but they know they're spoiled, but pay us back with lots of wonderful eggs and perhaps some chicks too. They can't do this without a healthy immune system. So it's important to supplement their usual feed and water throughout the winter months. Even if you only add a tonic mix to the water, you're helping them to remain healthy through the worst time of the year. Ensuring that your hen are in great shape physically and mentally is extremely important if you want them to perform the daily miracle of an egg. A fully functioning, robust immune system will help them stay healthy and happy, so keep on spoiling them. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.